Oh, this is just get better and better. Let's rock it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Drone Guitar, and welcome to Runner's Impressions. You might remember a few, I wanna say, months ago, that I talked about Fate's Day Night and how it was getting a new anime adaptation by Studio UFO Table. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I got news for you. We found out finally what route they're gonna be animating, and apparently it's gonna be different this time around. Fate's Day Night, the anime for 2014, will be following the Unlimited Blade Works route. I was mistaken originally, and I was, I'm glad that I was corrected in my previous video that Nasu is not making uh, a new, entirely different route for this anime. Instead, um, the anime will be following um, Unlimited Blade Works. Now, unlike the Studio Dean adaptation of Fate, which tried to combine them all into one simple, somewhat conhistic story, in um, Fate Stay Night 2006, Animated Blade Works will be divided into parts. The first episode will be released in October 4th, and the second half will be released at some point in April 2015, with uh, Masashiro, Ayano, and Calafina performing the music. And I seriously hope, and if it, Calafina is here, that means Yuki Kajira too. <laughs> um, now, I'm really excited. I'm sort of disappointed that it's Unlimited Blade Works in, to an extent because I honestly uh, don't like the Unlimited Blade Works route as much as I enjoyed Heaven's Feel and Fate. However, after looking at the trailer, it looks fantastic. The animation, the music, they, they, they make those like I look so fucking awesome. You have no idea how great it looks. Uh, it, yeah, it, it might be my least favorite route, but it's still such a great route. You have no idea, and he has so, such awesome moments like Archer vs. Shiro, Gilgamesh vs. Shiro, and it's just fantastic. And the way it looks, it looks even better. But, however, for those who prefer the other two routes just as, like myself, I present to you the other news that comes today. The Fate Route will be released as a free iOS um, visual novel for Android and, uh, and the iPhone. I don't know if it will be in the US, only in Japan from what I can tell at the moment. It will be just the Fade Route and it will be the Real Tanu edition which will include new drawings, artwork, which will include the, um, the PS Vita artwork, the voice acting and uh, the music plus the last chapter, I believe. Again, I cannot read Japanese so I'm just guessing here by looking at the images that I'm seeing here on the website. But, that would only be two, correct? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am now very, a very, very happy boy. And wanna guess why? It was also announced this morning that Fate Stay Night is also getting a new movie. Fate Stay Night is getting a movie. And guess what route that movie is following? Fate Stay Night. Heaven's Feel. Now, think about this for 5 seconds. Heaven's Feel, what is considered by many to be the best route in the entire game and to be the most epic and cinematic one, it's getting a movie. This is my favorite route personally. As much as I love Saber, Heaven's Feel was the best route, no doubt about it. And the fact that it's getting an animation is just beautiful. Also, let's think about it. It is UFO Table. Which means it's already gonna have great animation, whether it was an anime or a movie. But, now that it is a movie, that means that the animation quality, it's gonna just explode into pretty gloriousness like with, Kla like with Kara no Kyokai. My one problem is the following though. It's a movie. We still, From what I can tell here, I cannot tell if it's gonna be like multiple movies like they did with the Kara no Kyokai series, or if it's just gonna be one. If it's one, I'm wondering how they're gonna handle the fact that it's not only one of the longest routes, but the one that has the most stuff shoved into it. So, I'm definitely gonna enjoy it. No doubt about that. I can say that no problem. I am already looking at the artwork here and it's just beautiful. Shiro with the man draw with the uh, with the Shroud of Mandroid, I think it's the name of it. Um, Sekud and Rider and Ilya there and I can see Kira's shadow and I'll, oh, God, I'm getting excited. Yeah, so I'm really excited for this development. So, 
So, so Yuvo Table and Type Moon are being really smart here, so that nobody can complain about. Oh, you didn't do the favor. You're getting an iOS version. Oh, you're not doing Heaven Steel. Here you go with a movie. I'm really, really happy. I just want to take this artwork and put it on my wall. It's so beautiful. Can somebody make that for me, please? I'll, I'll pay you. <laughs> but yes, Heaven's Feel is coming movie, and on Blade Blakeworks it is coming uh, the anime that we were waiting for that I mentioned in the last video, and Fate is becoming its own iOS app. Which might mean that we might get the Illuminated Blade Works app and the Heaven's Feel app at some point in the future. Who knows? I'm hoping that it gets an English translation. I'm hoping. A man can dream. So, in the comments below I want you guys to tell me which are you most excited for? Heaven's Feel, the iOS Fate, or the Illuminated Breakworks anime? You never know. <laughs> this is really, really fun. This is gonna be one of the best falls ever with Fate Unlimited. Blade works, and whenever Heaven's Seal comes, I don't care if a meteor comes to my wall. Heaven's Seal is gonna make my day. So leave in the comments below how you feel about this. What would you prefer? Did you think that they made the right choices? Well, that is up to you to tell me and for Typhoon to decide. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm your guitar. I'll see you next time in the Fate franchise. <laughs>